this is the guy to George Outdoors. Just got off work and I am headed to the river by myself to do a little one man fishing for the uh, red breast. Some people call them roosters, uh, titty fish, because they're so big, you gotta hold them to your titty to take the hook out. That's what I'm after today. Um, I got a one man boat and it is made from a jet ski. It's a pretty cool boat. I wish I could tell you I made it, but I didn't. So I'm borrowing that, I'm gonna be in there. Um, if you like hunting, if you like fishing, if you like catching red breast, go ahead and hit that subscribe button because I do it all on this channel and you'll find something that you like. I'm headed right now to get some gear from the Metter Bait and Tackle Store. They've got pretty much everything you need, live bait, crickets, minnows, shiners, whatever. We're going to just load up on some crickets, some spin dandies, and head down to the river. Finally got one fish, and he's borderline keeper. Been hard fishing so far, but uh, there he is. Not the red breast I was after. Something's hitting it. Come on, take it, take it, take it, take it. There it is. Nothing to it. Another old little brim, small. I caught one one red breast. Everything else I've caught is a uh, brim, yeah. and I ain't catching none on the spinner. I caught them all barely moving on the court with a with a cricket on bottom. There he is, right there. Look at him. Yeah, that's that's all I. That's all I had. Just stopped, got me a drink, a snack. The fishing's not been good. I caught maybe six or seven. This is probably the best. This right here is the best one I've caught so far. I did catch a real nice warm out through him back. But he's a pretty fish, just not, not catching him in the numbers. And this is actually a little smaller than what I was hoping to catch. So we'll put him back. But it's a beautiful day. I just don't think the fishing is quite right. I fished crickets on the way up. So we're going to drift back down and fish uh, some spinners, maybe some crickets on the spinners, and hopefully pick up one or two there. But it's just been a, a fun day. Just haven't caught the fish like we uh, hoped to. I did catch a really nice warm mouth, threw him back. The camera had just, just died. So uh, we're about to get in the boat and head back. Look at that right there. That is... That is embarrassing. Embarrassing. That is the kind of day I'm having. There we go. That's a good stump knocker. That's what we call stump knockers in this part of the uh, country. I would, I'm curious to what y'all, everybody else calls these. There he is. My best fish of the day. Uh, not my best fish, but I had to have that thing within just a couple of inches of the bank to catch him. Beautiful little fish. We are in the river fishing today. We're in his boat. I'm letting him be the captain today, so I just get to back, get to sit back. And focus on catching fish is what I love to do. Um, if you like fishing, hunting, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. We do it all here. We're not just hunters. We're not just, we do it everything. We love the outdoors. Um, the river is still on the fall. Um, I don't know that the fish has got quite right yet. He's going to do a little bass fishing. I'm going to go after the red breast, other pan fish. Hopefully we'll put some fish in the uh, in the cooler. I think we will. What do you think? We will. I know we will. Yeah. 
Um, if Every you time like we it, get together, something's, well, something's going something's down. Going. Something's going to die. Something's getting eaten. Something's going down. When I'm out here fishing, one of my favorite things to do is take a cricket and put it on my lure. And the cricket about came off. And this right here is a, I believe that's the eighth ounce spin dandy. One of my favorite lures for the uh, river. One thing I can't stress enough is when I'm when you're fishing for red breast, how important an accurate cast is. Getting it in there to the spot. See right there, I was about two, three feet off the bank, and that to me is most likely a wasted cast. You really got to get it in there because those red breast, panfish, they're at the bottom of the food chain, so they're going to be holding real tight to structure to kind of keep them from being out in the open. And they're ambush predators. So uh, when smaller bait fish, crickets, or drift by, they come out of that structure and go after it. A little bass. Or is that a red breast? That's a red breast. Okay. Another female, pretty one. They like to, uh, you can tell by the colors whether they're a male or a female. And this one's a female. She's a, she's a good eating size, but we're pre spawn, so we're going to throw her back I got something pretty good yeah look at that titty yes sir don't leave him now look at that joker right there bubble look at that holy moly that's a bigger <laughs> look at that's that what <laughs> that's what you call a titty yeah the old titty that fish a monster red breast right there yep. you can't put your head around uh -uh. you got bear, you got and bear look, claws. i got bear claws and i can't get them around and look at it that is as pretty as it comes josh i might need to run to buy that one more time because i had a couple bites at that spot okay yeah I'm gonna, um I'm gonna get guys you don't get a red breast this color in any other water than this dark water Man, I love doing this kind of stuff. This is why I come. And you're talking about a good eating fish. Josh, that thing fries up as white and as sweet as oh, they come. It's delicious. Oh, man, I love this crap. That right there, that's a ham hog. <laughs> that, <laughs> we call it, it's called a titty because you got to hold him against your titty to take the hook out. <laughs> and some people call them roosters. I call them titties. Oh, boy. I don't get ridiculous and keep 100 fish, but I do like enough for uh, stink up the grease. Okay. That is what you call Filet City right there. Filet City. Where do you live at, Josh? Right there on the other corner in the side of Filet. Filet City. City. <laughs> it's pretty bass, man. These bass in this water have some dark color. They're pretty, ain't they? <laughs> what? Well, see about that about that pound and a half range? Yeah, about a pound and a half range. Yeah. He's pretty. Oh yeah. I hope you enjoyed the video. I know we didn't do a lot of catching on this one, but that's just what fishing really is. That's what it's all about. You know, you got a bass, you got a couple red breasts, you can go home and stink up the grease. I am going to stink up the grease. Uh, if you haven't already done so, subscribe to the channel because we're going to be back in here when the fishing's right. Right. Uh, but until then, this has been the unofficial, no doubt, incomplete guide to Georgia, Georgia Outdoors. outdoors.